Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to compare numbers up to 10 million. Okay, let's start with our first example. We've got two numbers here. That's the first one and the second one is here. Okay, and what we're being asked is which, one, which number is larger and which number is smaller. Now, do you recall the different symbols we can use? Let's write them here. In yellow, that means less than, that means equals to, and greater than. Okay, the number on the left, well, let's say it first. It is 6,380, sorry, 6 million. 387,437. The number on the right is 6,387,507. Which symbol goes between these two numbers? Okay, the first thing we do is we are going to start to compare the numbers. We always start with a digit on the left. In this case, it's the millions over here. We have to compare this one with the same digit on the left over here. Both of them are the same. And if they are the same, we then move on to the digit, the next digit on the right of that digit. So now we've got three. Let's compare this three with the number on the other side of the comma here. It is, that is also three. So again, we still cannot tell which number is larger and which one is smaller. Now let's have a look at the next one. We're going to now compare these two digits. We've got 8 here. This is the 10 thousands. And the 10 thousands over here, it is also 8. So they're the same. We still cannot tell which number is larger and which one is smaller. Now let's compare the thousands. We've got 7 over here. And we're comparing that with the thousands on, in, in, of the number to the right. And that is also 7. So they are again the same. That means we still cannot tell which number is larger and which number is smaller. OK. Now we're going to move on to the hundreds. That's this one here, digit 4. And if we take this across to the hundreds over here, well, in this one it is 5. The hundreds are different. That means we can tell, we can now work out which number is larger and which number is smaller. Okay. Now on the left, we've got four hundreds. On the right, we've got five hundreds. So which number is bigger, four or five? Well, five is bigger. Therefore, the arrow points at the number to the left because 4 is smaller than 5. Okay, so that's how we work it out. We start with the digit on the left and gradually, gradually move to the digit on the right if they're the same. I'm just going to scroll down. We're going to do one more. Just to make sure that we fully understand this. Okay, so those are our two numbers. We have to work out which number is larger and which number is smaller. Okay, so let's start with a digit on the left. We have to compare this one to the millions compared to the millions. They are both eight, so they are exactly the same. Next, we compare the hundred thousands. We've got three here. We go across here and We've got three here. They're exactly the same. Okay. We're now going to move to the next one, which is the ten thousands. We 
went a bit far there. Right, the ten thousands, both of them are nine. So again, we still cannot tell which number is larger and which one is smaller. We now move on to the thousands. We've got seven here. Compare that with the thousands over here. Oh, sorry, beg your pardon. I've gone just a little bit too far. We're going to do that again. The thousands over here with the thousands over here. Okay, they are both seven. Hence, we still cannot tell which is, not, which is larger and which is smaller. We're now going to move to the hundreds. We've got five here. Compare that with the hundreds over here, and that is also five. So again, we still cannot tell. Let's keep going. We're now going to compare the tens. Comparing the tens, have a look at those two tens. Well, the number on the left has got a four tens, and the number on the right has got two tens. So now we can tell which number is larger and which is smaller. Okay, so let's focus on this. We've got four here. We've got two here. Which number is larger? Well, the one on the left, which has a four, is larger. And the arrow points to the smaller number. And that is how we compare numbers, and you can do this with any set of numbers. In fact, they don't have to go into millions, where they've got seven digits. You can compare 9, 12, 15, no matter how big the number is. Compare as many digits as you want, follow the same principles, and you'll be able to work out which number is larger and which number is smaller.